the internet is a dark, dark place. There are thieves around every corner just waiting to steal from you. Luckily, with Veed, it's really easy to watermark your footage, so people will know exactly who shot it. The first thing that you'll want to do is jump onto Veed. So here we go, we've got some beautiful drone footage that I got last summer, but I really don't want anybody stealing it if I put it up online. So the best way to do this is to add a watermark. Now a watermark is simply a way of putting a permanent identification over your footage. So in this case, I'm gonna be putting down a little logo in the bottom left hand corner. Now I've also got to say, uh, I've got a bit of an announcement. I'm really excited. I just spoke to my graphic designer and he's just sent me through my brand new logo. So we're gonna to get to unveil this together on this footage and I'm really, really excited. So let's do it. The first thing that you wanna do is hit on image and then you click add image. Okay, here we go. Not really sure that was called for. Anyway, we've now got our logo on here, so let's get to watermarking it. Now sometimes the purpose of a watermark is actually to make footage completely unusable, but still viewable. This is great if you're showing an example of something to somebody, but you don't want them to take it as the final product. In that case, what you would want to do is make the watermark really, really big, like this. And there you go, this is now covering the entire screen, so you can still see what's going on, but it's very clear that this is not the final product. In my case though, I don't really want to do that. I want to be able to show my beautiful footage to the world, and I just want them to know that it was made by really lame productions. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this to make it a little bit less obnoxious. And then it's simply a case of putting it wherever you want it to be. For me, I'm going to have it down here in the bottom left hand corner. And that's it, it's now down in the corner of my footage. It's not being overly obtrusive, but at the same time it's there and people can see exactly who shot it. Now it's really important to remember the type of file that you wanna use when you're watermarking. As with most logos, the best file to be using is a PNG file. That's because they're able to be transparent. In this case, the entire logo is transparent in some way. Even the words are slightly transparent, so you can see through them a little bit. But more importantly, you don't have a big white box in the background, which would make it look really cheap and ugly. So from here, I wanna actually share this and send it out into the the world so let's go ahead and do that you just have to hit download and like that it's rendering so the next step you've got all of these options but what you want to do is hit share you then have options to share it through email you have the option to share it through Twitter or through Facebook directly from V of course you can share it on other social medias but you'll have to download it first which takes no time at all there you go it's already downloaded for me and then you can share it yourself easy